So we're on the other side of the machine now, and what we can see here is our secondary separator adjustment. This is only found on our walker machines because it's purely for the secondary separator itself. Now what we can do here is we can take this clasp and turn it 180 degrees. What that's going to do is it's going to go from a parallel concave on both the threshing drum and the secondary separator, and it's going to allow us to offset that secondary separate concave. So when we adjust our main concave, it's going to be falling at a different ratio as to what our secondary separator is. Why would we want to do that? Well, when we're doing the likes of maize or special crops, it allows more flow through the secondary separator. Or maybe when we're in the drier conditions on the sunnier days, where we're seeing that our straw quality isn't the best, we can then open the secondary separator to allow the crop to flow through a little bit more smoothly. So to adjust the concave gap on the secondary separator, all I have to do is remove this bolt, which I've already pre-untightened. I then take my ratchet system and turn this buckle 180 degrees so that my arrow is pointing from the up position, which is the normal uh, linked position, to then the downwards position, so that means the secondary separator has gone to the wider position. Either side of the top of the returns here, we've got two sensors. And these then display in the quantity of crop which is coming for our returns through to our Cebus monitor. We then additionally do have the window on the top of the returns panel too. So if we're sat in the cab, we can look down to the right hand side and see what's coming into our returns. Sometimes we may have to clean these return signals depending on the crop we're cutting. If we're cutting green crops or very moist crops, then these light signals can become dirty. To clean them is very simple. All we have to do is to remove the clip, lift the panel up, and clean the display lens here. This is done for additionally both this side and the opposite side of the returns elevator. At the top of the returns elevator, we can see the tensioning system for the elevator itself. If we're in the cab and we can hear maybe it's a little bit loose, we can come out, we can unloosen the bolt on the tensioner and slide it to the left or to the right accordingly. Once we've adjusted the tensioner accordingly, we need to make sure that we go back into our Cebus menu and reset the zero throughput for our returns elevator. So because of the new quantum meter system on the machine, we've had to change the way that we tension our clean grain elevator. To do so, all we need to do is remove the bottom panel of the clean grain elevator we can then there from there see our paddles raising up the elevator. We can then change or turn the locking nut on this bolt here. And then that means with our spanners, we can adjust the tightness of the elevator itself. So we're at the side of the chopper now, and we can see our manual adjustment for our stationary knives and for our fine chop step. To adjust these, if I want my stationary knives in, because I feel like my chopper isn't doing as good as a job as it could be and I need to demolish the straw, I can then take the handle out and move the knives in and out of their position. I've also then got the adjustment for my fine chop step. This is in the crops as such as maize, or if I feel like my stationary knives need a little extra boost moving from that stationary bar inwards. On our straw walker machines, we also have a maintenance access to the walkers themselves. We can take the ladder from the back of the machine and place it in between the fuel tanks. I can then climb to the top and remove the access hatch, granting me access to the walkers themselves. <laughs> 